What is going on, everybody? Five minutes with Sean, maybe 10. Um, so the last couple of weeks, you know, we've been talking about compression, which came out on the holidays. So if you missed that episode, go back and see it. I got to get better with understanding the holidays. You know, we follow a protocol here on Mondays where we just do the job, right? We release the show and I don't take into consideration what those days are. So that's on me. Uh, I will get better at it. So, um, all right, here's the thing I have, I'm fortunate to have some of the best clients in the country, in the car business. And right now we've got clients, um, a couple of them, a couple of different ones going through long time tenured, high level executive turnover. And they're both taking separate routes. And it's fascinating to me um, because, you know, I, I love to see different perspectives. I love to see different approaches. And so here we are, right? Let me lay this down for you. One store has decided to take the route of hire from the outside for this executive level position, right? The other store has taken the promote from within angle. Now, I, Sean Welsh, believe that I am extremely preferential to the idea of promoting from within because I believe it continues to run the energy. It continues to show people not just a carrot, but that you can actually nom, 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 eat the carrot. So I think to that extent, it's always been my preference. So when the clients started looking at this and talking about it and seeing how it breaks down, the, the, the two roads have now launched, right? The, the, the changes have been made. The promote from within is in his place. The outside hire is in his place. And what I'm seeing, is two totally different store vibes, store approach. Remember, these stores are not stores that are hurting. These were stores that were trying to get to the next 1% of business. And in, and, in, and in case of one of the clients, their top guy was just leaving to go outside of the industry. So there's not like a, th th these aren't what I would consider to be troubled location. Okay. They do business, they do business well, but if they want to get to that next level, try and squeeze just a little bit more out of the juice, this is what you have to do to shake things up, right? And I'll be honest with you, you know, um, one of the clients that dealt with the change, he did something very interesting, and I think you should all sort of be aware of this. Um, he has notes on all of his manager meetings, as most of us should, right? I don't, but he, as most of us should, um, and, 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 and so he does. And so he had a conversation with his executive, you know, six months, nine months ago. And then basically went back and said, I got to write down notes. I got to sit down with this guy again and then compared notes and the notes were the exact same, right? This isn't to say this person is a bad person. As a matter of fact, the executive who he let go is a fucking tremendous human being and an unbelievable car guy, but probably has a lot of things going on exteriorly outside of the dealership that have affected the interior work of the dealership. There's no way it can't knowing what I know about this gentleman, knowing what I know about his life. So there are parts that we must consider about people's work performance that as much as people want to say, you know, outside of work doesn't matter, news flash, it does. It does matter. It matters a lot. So on my end, here's, here's my feedback. I, I have seen already two things that have stood out to me. One, the exterior candidate who comes in believes that everything needs serious overhaul, that issues exist right away. And to be honest with you, as, a, as someone who has been a general manager, it is tough for me to see that specific approach. I believe anytime you come in new to something, you must take time to understand, right? As we like to say around Carbis, seek to understand first before responding, before making changes, before moving. And one of the things that's crazy, just off the get, is that like the old management team, they didn't have offices. New management team requires them and moves people out of them who'd had them. So it's just like, okay, everyone's sort of, there doesn't seem to be a lot of taking time to understand what is already in place as opposed to I already know what I want to do and I'm going to do it. Whereas the promote from within perspective or, or angle has yielded already tremendous 
tremendous team unity. Tremendous in, in a way that has been impressive. And to me, I'm someone who thinks anybody can do the job if they get lit up or a change is made for 30, 60, 90 days. To me, the truer barometer of success is in six months a year. But I know this promote from within hire had a lot of things that he thought should be being done. And so for him to get the chance to enact them, as I told him, I am beyond excited for you because now you don't have to worry about who will say yes, who will say no. You will be responsible for the outcome. And I think that sits with people in a different way than the idea of people being able to sit back and recommend something to someone else so that they have to take the fall, if you will. So it's very, very interesting. I can tell you that team morale at the promote from within scenario through the roof. Through the roof. Everybody's pumped. Everybody's got energy. And I see it in my conversations. I see it in the social media we work with them on. We see their approach now is more dynamic than it was previously. More people are getting involved. Whether that's just because people need to change, it's possible. But on the other side of the coin, the exterior higher morale from what I gather is not as high. Granted, they lost a hell of a leader. And you got to give new people time. And I go through this, like I've been through this, been running Carbis for 11 years. So the management changeover is not anything that I'm not totally used to. And I, I expect things to happen. Honestly, I've said this, I expect to be fired by the client because that's typically what happens of new management crew. I mean, new management, yes, new ownership, definitely. Um, which I, again, I don't understand because if we're doing something, just because someone sold something doesn't mean it was broken. Just because someone... Uh, left or had an opening position doesn't mean something was broken all the time. It, it can, not all the time. So for me, I'm really, I'm really intrigued by what we're, what we're doing here. I honestly am intrigued because I think that the, I think that the uh, promote from within hire will last longer with better results. I think, and I'm so excited to watch. So I ask you, my friends, my audience, what do you think and which do you go? Do you take the road of promote from within or do you take the road of an exterior hire to come in and see what happens, you know? And then to that, to that point, how much control do we give either from an ownership perspective? That's, that's what gets me thinking because I don't know I don't know if I could say to someone, come on in full, it, full well knowing my shit's not broken, right? Because if you give someone full reins, the shit's not broken. And then they start making changes to things that maybe they shouldn't, right? Then it's like this whole, oh, what do I do, right? So I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of things that I think about. I've got a lot of things that I concern myself with uh, when it comes to this, but I'm excited to watch it happen as I hope all of you, and I plan to update the show here um, as, I, as I see things sort of uh, moving forward for sure. I think it will be a big part of what I will be um, discussing with them as we move along and just seeing how those conversations evolve. So I'm excited about it. I hope you are too. Go out, have yourselves a great week. And next week on the show, I might have a special guest for you. You know, these things are up in the air, folks. I wish I could tell you I had it planned out months in advance, but I don't. Um, so we're, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping to land a pretty fun guest, uh, a guy who's been on the show before, but not on five minutes. And not online. He's actually been in person. Very odd. We'll see if it happens. I look forward to it. Everyone have yourselves a wonderful week. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.